conversation in your head probably sounds something like this. I can't keep hiding it. Somebody's going to find out. They're going to know what I'm doing. Spring is here. Shorts are here. Shorts leave shirts. Somebody's going to see that I've been cutting to try to deal with the anxiety and the pain. The drug use. I can't keep hiding it. It seems to be controlling me, taking more and more of my life. Somebody's going to find out that I'm not perfect. If they just look at my phone or my computer, if somebody stumbles upon all the porn I've been watching, they will know. And they will know how much of a sinner I am. Well, dear saints, there's good news in that conversation going on in your head. The Holy Spirit is continuing to work on you to show you your sin, to show you that's not where God wants you to be. He doesn't want you to be caught in the pain and the suffering and the addiction. He wants you to be free from that. God has given you great gifts in the midst of this. The first gift is you recognize you're a sinner. And a sinner needs a Savior. We recognize that we're sinners. And the great good news is God sent Jesus to save sinners. To give good news to give forgiveness to you. God gives us these great gifts, and some of those gifts he's given to you, you have to trust. Trust mom and dad, your school counselor, your pastor. They can help you with these things. A lot of times, with the things that you might be struggling with, you might need someone to help you with the addiction. And they are there as gifts from God to help you so you don't struggle anymore. But the greatest gift, the gift that eases our conscience and our burdens, is Jesus. It's the forgiveness of sins through the cross. Listen to what the psalmist writes. O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise, you discern my thoughts from afar. You see, you're really good right now at hiding your sin, holding it in, trying to control it, trying to be perfect. You might have hidden it from most people, but you haven't hidden it from God. He knows you. He knows every sin that you're struggling with. He knows your addictions already. And he wants you to be free from that. He wants to help you. He has given great gifts to you. The great gift of Easter Sunday. Jesus rising from the dead because three days earlier on the cross, Jesus showed you that great good gift. There, hanging on the cross, knowing your sin, knowing the porn, the drugs, the binging and the purging, the cutting, all the things that you're dealing with and trying so hard to hide. Jesus took those to the cross and he said, it is finished. It's paid for. All of that sin paid for by Jesus for you. All of that on the cross was for you, dear child of God, that you might be forgiven. There are gifts, confession, absolution, your pastor, and all of those people waiting to help you. Good news, good gifts for you. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.